Hello my sunshines, rainbows, orchids and moonlights. I hope that you are all doing super, super well this week. And those of you that are new, welcome to Mystic Love Tarot. So before we go on to this week's reading, which is, are you on their mind? There's just a couple of public service announcements I just want to talk through. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the Mabon special um, on Mystical Moonday Musings, which is my other channel. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to that, go over to YouTube, go to Mystical Moonday Musings and hit subscribe and really enjoy the weekly readings that we put out there. So do a weekly reading based on the tarot and astrology for the week. So it's a free reading for you guys. It's every Monday um, and then we do specials for the Pagan Festival. So the next one, next one will be Samhain, which is Halloween. The other things that I've got to tell you is that I have got spaces for video readings at this moment and I'm also doing same day return on voice note questions. Yes, you heard it right, same day return. So if you want your answer today, you can just drop me a message at Mr. Love Tarot on Instagram, Facebook or email. All the deets are in the comments for you. Um, you can just go over there, drop me a message and say, Ali, I really need an answer today and we can do that for you today. Um, they are £10 per question, 10 great British pounds, not expensive. Um, so it's quite quite a rapid turnaround for you guys and quite, I like to think, um, wholesome price for you guys. So those are the two public service announcements for you. Hit subscribe on Mr. Cool Mean Day Musings and come watch the weekly reading there. Um, and same day return on voice notes as well as um, video reading space. There was something else I needed to tell you. Oh, I hope you like the new intro. I'm, I'm bringing, I'm bigging things up a bit. I'm going through like a bit of a change at the moment. And um, as Sawain is hitting, I'm really, well, as the, the veil is getting really thin, I'm really going into this kind of, um, veil thinning energy is probably the right way to explain it. So, here we go. Are you on the mind? This is deck number one and this is deck number two. So I also have a cold if I'm a bit sniffly. This one is the Three Trees Tarot, I think it's called that. The Oak, the Ash, the Thorn, the Three Holy Trees of Druidry and Paganism. That's this tarot deck and it's absolutely beautiful. And then this one is my other favourite deck at the moment. It's the Elemental Tarot. Um, and it's also really, really, really pretty. So number one, number two, think about your person. And as you are thinking about your person, I want you to just go into the, the feelings that you have, push it into the deck that you are most drawn to. How fun is that? Okay, and let's get going. So deck number one. So we're thinking about your person. And as we go into that collective energy of you all, we just pull about the questions. But what actually Spirit are saying to me first is they want me to pull you a room um, before we go into this reading. So let's start off doing that. Now, these are witches' runes. They aren't the Elder Thieves Arc. Um, I do rune binding for those of you that need a little bit of magic with the Elder Thieves Arc. But for the this reading, we're using the witchy ones. So let's get a rune, a rune for you and your person. And are you on their mind? Okay, so we have over here Harvest. Now, what I like about this is we've literally just gone through the last Harvest Festival of the pagan, um, pagan year. So with the pagan year... Last Harvest Festival, Mabon. Like I said, go check it out, the special on Mystical Moon Day Musings. This is a time to reap the benefits of all the hard work you have put in since the springtime. So in spring, you sowed the seeds, and now the harvest is here, you are ready to reap the benefits of this. So this rune is talking to you guys about abundance, prosperity, um, wealth, health, all those positive things that you have been asking for. This is a really clear indicator that it is coming to pass. OK, so everything that you have been praying for, asking for divine guidance on and really analysing the spiritual connection. This is your card. To, uh, this is your room to say that this fruition is coming um, into your physical. OK, so from spirit, through spirit, to spirit, as above, so below and so below, as above. There is a linking energy here of the harvest of you and the person that you are asking about which I really, really like. So on that note, let's just get three more cards. Let's, well, let's get three cards on. Are you on their mind? Now, with that rune jumping out first and foremost, there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that you are on their mind. Um, and those two cards just jumped out together. So when they jump together, I pull them together. Okay, that's it. That is where we're stopping. So those of you that read tarot, you have, let me show you these because they're so pretty, the sun, Aren't they beautiful? And the seven of pants, they jumped out together. You've got the three of pants over here. 
and you've also got the emperor the emperor so the question are you on their mind you are absolutely on their mind and with the harvest room coming out at first and foremost this is a time to reap the benefits like everything that you have thrown into this connection into this relationship you are now going to be getting back tenfold you're going to be really experiencing the beauty of love with this connection now your person hasn't gone through a personality transplant with the emperor over here your person is still this very strong this is a divine masculine card but again we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel this will be your person in this strong power energy they know what they want they are aware of their own mind with regard to the connection with you and they are really seeing focus here spirit are saying they're seeing focus they are focused on the end goal which is reaping the benefits of the harvest so this is the two of you merging together now with the moon over above this stag's um antler i'm really going to call it a horn over the stag, uh, stag's antler this is the cycle that's been going on so you might have found that you have been in a bit of a cycle with your person a bit like a moon cycle going round backwards and forwards but you have made um headway in the last month or so or in the last weeks and if that hasn't happened yet this is your indicator that it will be happening there is movement going on with you guys they've had their walls up for quite some time okay and those walls are now starting to thin and i absolutely love that again with this timing of year that the veil is thinning the walls are thinning there isn't anywhere for your person to hide behind their emotions anymore and i do feel with that that they will be expressing their feelings for you okay so no personality transplants quite stubborn but the veil is thinning and they will be communicating their emotions towards you that they are you're both going to reap the benefits of this connection now with the three of pence over here some of you guys might have found that this situation isn't actually about you and your person there could be circumstances that have blocked this situation from moving forward so this could be third party energy so this could be there with someone else this could be alcohol this could be drugs this could be partying this could be work there could be an influence or something else that is impacting the relationship with you and them but what spirit are saying to me and again i want to reiterate this point is that with the veil thinning and with this energy really coming forward they're going to balance these energies out and really make those moves towards you it's like they're headstrong and they know what they want from the connection they are going to be fully aware of it now you might be working as a bit of a team the head and the heart are really going to interact okay so head and heart are finally going to be on the same wavelength which we love um i also am hearing the life death rebirth cycle so in any kind of paganism we talk about things kind of going in threes um so you have life, death, rebirth, you have a uh, maiden, mother, crone, you have all of this, you have mind, body, spirit connection, and this is it all here, okay? So everything interlinking and starting to work together. And that leads us to the sun and the seven of pence, okay? Seven of pence, again, linking in with the harvest over here, all the hard work that you have been putting into this connection, the manifestations, the magic, and if you need magic, give me a shout on a heads up love on another level. Um, Anywhere that you've been put, putting that work in, with the sun coming in, you're getting the happy outcomes at the end of it. Okay? So working hard work is going to be rewarded. And if I was going to phrase um, the energy of card deck number one, it would be that hard work is going to be rewarded. You're going to reap the benefits of this connection. So overall, are you on the mind? Absolutely. I actually feel that you never left their mind. You never left their mind. They were always thinking about you. They were always feeling those emotions towards you. And they were always having that power energy. It's just they probably had their walls up a bit of a guard. And so it's put the situation on pause a little bit. But now with the moon changing, with the cycles changing, there is a break in that and new beginnings coming in for you guys in deck number one. So if you need me, drop me a message. Like I said, we have same day return on voice note readings at the moment. Um, I also have spaces for video readings and uh, check out the podcast. That was deck number one. Okay, guys. So deck number two, if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, welcome to Mystic Love Tarot. And if you didn't go to my other channel, my sister's channel, um, go and have a browse of that. It's at Mystical Moonday Musings. It's podcast and a weekly reading for tarot and astrology for free. So you'll absolutely love it. So no reason not to subscribe. And if you subscribe over there, make sure you subscribe over here too. So 
we are doing are you on your person's mind i'm going to do what i did for debt number one actually and i'm going to pull you a witch's rune so i do do elder food art rune bindings but this um and if you need magic just give me a shout um these are witches' runes. They work a little bit differently, but I absolutely love them. They work best um, with my energy. So let's have a rune for you and your person's mutual energy. Let's see where we're going. Oh, okay. So we have got the female energy coming up over here. So right off the bat with the female energy rune, this is an expression of your divine feminine energy. <coughs> I've got a bit of a cold, guys, so if I'm coughy and sneezy, just bear with me. Sorry, guys, I went and had a bit of a coughing fit. So this is your female energy coming forward. Now, remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel. But what this will be coming forward to signify is that you guys at the moment are in this very, very strong, powerful energy. OK, this is your power. This is your female energy. This is your womb energy. And as you guys know, I am a pagan priestess. So whenever I talk about womb energy, it is creation energy. So the womb energy, whenever I do magic with you guys, I always talk about womb energy where I can. Um, because the womb isn't a space for fear and pain, it's a, a space to create and give birth to life. So anywhere that manifestations kind of come a bit blocked, we really work with that divine female energy. And that is coming to the forefront. So you guys might find that you have a couple of blocks within your, <clears throat> within your manifestations at this moment in time. You might find that the situation is a little bit stagnant, but what this rune is saying to you <coughs> is really embody that female energy and allow things to move forward for you, okay? There isn't as many blocks as you think there are. Okay, I really hope that is my last coughing fit. <laughs> so let's carry on with this. Let's get three cards for are you on the person you're asking about mind. So we know that there have been a couple of blocks within your manifestations. Um, I know that your person might have been a bit of a D-I-C-K or fill in the blank here with the word that you particularly want to use with regard to the situation. They, they haven't been particularly helpful, but they haven't given you energy, anything of commitment, and you really aren't quite sure where you're standing. You might be feeling a sense of betrayal from your person, a sense of loss, a sense of grieving, a sense of they don't really know what they want. You're also going to be seeing, like I said, this kind of non-commitment, this working on passionate energy. So you might find that they have been more sexually orientated towards you rather than working on love emotions. And you guys watching aren't really sure where to stand. So when we were looking at the room and we were talking about the standpoint, the divine female energy coming in, work with your inner goddess. OK, and again, never be sexually orientated or gender specific, but that womb energy OK, it still sits within your sacral chakra and it is something that we can definitely work through if you do need that magic. So if you want to give me a shout on that, do let me know. We can connect with that womb energy. So <clears throat> with your person and the question, which is, are you on their mind? Your person is in a little bit of avoidance at this moment. OK, so here's the Queen of Swords. Um, they are in a little bit of avoidance over it. I also feel with this that there has been a sense of immaturity coming through from your person, that they haven't been handling things very well, that you might have felt like you've been ghosted, pushed away, unsure of what they're actually feeling about you. And that's where the Knight of Wands comes in. So it looks like they've come towards you, been a little bit smutty, been a little bit sexual, maybe acted a bit too much on passions, um, if that isn't the case with the sex, but you haven't known where you're standing. And then that has left you feeling the sense of betrayal, okay? So at the moment, your person is in, in, in avoidance about you. They're not thinking about it. Let's ask why. Why is your person in avoidance over this situation? Why are they in avoidance? So they're trying to keep level-headed on it and keep balanced. Because at the moment in time, they aren't really sure what they want. And the reason why they aren't sure what they want is because they have been hurt in the past. So your person might still be kind of having a little bit of grief over an ex or a situation that reared its head and they're not quite ready to be in a relationship again. This is where the block is. OK, and this is why your person is acting like a twit, acting the way that they are. They're acting this way because they aren't ready for a committed relationship. So when we ask the question, are you on their mind? The avoid, like I said, there is avoidance here. There is also ignorance, Spirit is saying really clearly. There is ignorance here. Um, and there is this sense of, I'm just going to wait and see what happens and let it play out. Now, when they do think of you, 
they do think of you in this this lovely light but that freak out energy freak out energy in inverted brackets um gets to them okay so they then go into again that avoidance and then they'll probably drop you a message that could be a bit more sexual or smutty or something along those lines so are you on their mind they're avoiding it try not to think about you when you do go into their mind they have a bit of a panic over it and if you do communicate with them they're probably giving you something that is a little bit more smutty or sexual or passion based which isn't based on commitment now as i said to you at the start with the rune energy you have got the tools and abilities to change this around should you want this to progress you might say they're a total tosser rally i'm not particularly interested in that my um my husband loves it when I say Tasha um, because he's Brazilian and then I say Tasha with a British accent he's like oh I love it when you say that <laughs> your person is a bit of a tosser but you have this divine energy where you can bring things around should you want it or manifest someone new into your reality so not all hope is lost there just needs to be a bit of tweaking going on and like I said if you do need me for magic we can look at that and if you do need me for a reading today same day return just drop me a message on Instagram or Facebook Mystic it love tarot um, and we can get the reading we being me and my spirit guys can get the reading back for you today and that is deck number two so deck number two is a little bit more cranky isn't it really they're just being a bit of a cranky pants look that with cranky pants okay guys if you need me drop me a message at mystic love tarot at gmail.com head over to mystical moon day musings for the free weekly reading on the monday so i will post here on a wednesday and the free weekly reading for the the tarot for the week and the astrology with my friend josie is on a monday okay so reading here wednesday mystical moon days monday go and watch both of them okay because then you get the, the double whammy of two readings per week perfect for you and like i said we are doing pagan special so every single festival that comes up all eight festivals which oh my goddess is over here all eight festivals we will bring into um into your lives with tools and tricks and witchy bits and history and things like that and readings for the six week period so you'll absolutely love it if you didn't check out my bond which is autumn equinox go over there watch the video it's a right laugh you'll have a great time get your wines and your coffees and just go and enjoy yourself and drop me a message if you need me lots of love guys and i'll speak to you soon oh and thanks for bearing with me with the coffee spluttery coldy vibes this week bye